In this video I'm going to show you how to use my egg measurement tool. You can download all the files you'll need from my website drolian.co.uk and then go to research and eggs. Once you download the files you'll see that there's this folder called egg tools and what you need to do is place this into your ImageJ plugins directory. In Linux uh, your ImageJ plugins directory will be somewhere like this home ImageJ plugins in Windows it will be in Program Files Image J Plugins. So all you need to do is copy across this folder to here and then restart Image J or if you've already got Image J open go refresh menus and that will load up the tools here. So we have this new Egg Tools bit in the plugins. I'm going to show you an example with this sample egg image. This is a quail egg and what we need to do is select the multi-point tool. So here you've got the point tool and multi-point tool which you can change between by right clicking. And what you need to do is place a point at the tip of the egg and base of the egg and then a few other points around the edge of the egg. It doesn't matter what order you place these points in as long as the tip and base are as close as possible to the what you think is the tip and base. Once you've roughly placed some points around, you can zoom in with the plus key and make sure you've got all the measurements in exactly the right place. It doesn't matter how many points around the edge of the egg that you use, as long as it's uh, eight or more. I find that that works very well. Now I'll go plugins, egg tools, and egg measurement. And you'll see it'll draw a line around the egg, and you can decide whether you're happy with this fit or not. If you're not happy with the fit, you can go adjust and say one of the points was a bit out. You now get the opportunity to, uh, to reposition it and make sure you're happy. Once you're happy with the position, just go egg measurement again and accept. Now if there's a scale bar in the image, this is the point where you draw a line along the scale bar. However, if you only know the length of the egg and there's no scale bar in the image, just press OK here and it will use this line automatically drawn along the length of the egg. But we do have a scale bar here and I don't know the length of the egg, so I'm going to draw along the ruler here. And make sure you get the points on the line as accurate as possible. There we are and once you're happy press OK. You'll then be asked how long that selection of rule bar is that you've just selected. In this case it was 20 millimeters and I'll leave this ticked because this will save the selection later on. Press OK and so now it's calculated the metrics of the egg that we're interested in. In the results table first you have the name of the image so that you can just keep doing more and more images. The area in pixels in the photo of the egg, probably not very useful. The length of the egg in millimeters, you see here it's 34 millimeters. The width of the egg, the volume of the egg in millimeters cubed. The ellipse deviation. Now the ellipse deviation is a measure of pointedness that's calculated based on the difference between the egg and the shape of an ellipse of the same width and length. This graph shows you what's going on. The gray here is the ellipse while the red is the egg shape. And this ellipse deviation value, or the pointedness value, is calculated from the dif distance between uh, these two curves at every point along the uh, x-axis. So it's the, basically the area between the curves. The more pointed the egg, the more it deviates from an ellipse, the higher this number. And then finally you've got r-square values, and these tell you how how good the fit is between the points you selected on the left and right hand sides of the egg. So here because I only selected eight points in total there can be a perfect fit but if you had ten or more points you'd, um, you'd be able to get a quality of fit value. And you can see in the original folder where we opened the egg image there's sample egg ROI and this is the selection coordinates for the egg. So if we open up the egg again, just drag it into ImageJ, and then we drag in this selection coordinates into ImageJ, 
you can see it places the points around the egg, so they're saved. Now supposing you you don't want to measure the egg, you just want to cut out the shape of it for some other reason. There's another tool provided which is egg shape cutout. And again, you select the same points, accept, and it draws a polygon around the egg that you can then, for example, go clear outside if you just want to cut out the egg from its background.